Hey y'all, it's your girl Keisha. Welcome back to the Keisha TV. I'm on my way to, uh, can't even do it all. I'm going to pain management. I'll talk to y'all when I get to my destination later. Hey y'all, I had forgot I was even doing a video. I didn't talk to the doctor, did everything I had to do. All that, forgot I was doing a video. I know y'all know by the uh, title, I got some bad news. It's not me, it's my brother. Um, he was, he had cancer. And uh, his cancer went into remission. And it came back. It recently came back and it spread all over. And uh, yeah, the doctor's giving my brother three months to live, 90 fucking days. I'm hurt, I'm angry. I'm just, I don't really know what to do with myself, you know? This is my big little brother. And what I mean by my big little brother, he's my mama oldest boy, but I'm the oldest, you know, I'm the oldest girl. So that's why I call him my big little brother. But even so still, I'm hurting. Because I don't want to I don't want to lose my brother. I mean, nobody wants to lose anybody in their life. You know what I'm saying? I people that they love and that they're close with. Nobody wants to go through that. But I'm in Texas and my brother's in New Orleans. And uh, fuck all that. He was on for two weeks. And he hasn't, he wasn't answering the phone for anybody. And I sent to me, I called him, no answer. I called his wife, no answer. I sent the Instagram. I tried to call him on Instagram, so I sent the little thing, you know, that you do on Instagram when you, when you talk, the microphone thing, message. Like I told him, I'm not no anybody. I'm your big sister, you my big little brother. Don't shut me out. That's what I feel like. I feel like I'm being shut out. He talked to my brother, my other brother, our baby brother. But yet, he's not answering me. You know, everybody, you know, my auntie and my cousins, they all telling me he probably don't want to talk to you because he know you sick and he doesn't want to make he doesn't want to make you worse off because of what he's going through he says he doesn't want everybody to he doesn't want anybody to feel sorry for him i understand where he coming from but it hurts all the same because him and our little brother is all i have with my mama and I don't want to lose that. I'm, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry for crying like this. I know I shouldn't even be doing this. But it just hurt. I have been crying since I found out. I mean, I was actually in the store when my aunt called me and she was like, are you okay? Are you good? You know, are you strong? And I was like, yeah, just go ahead and tell me. I knew something was going wrong because my auntie don't randomly just call me. She called me like certain days, you know, when she want to talk about something. But this particular day, she don't usually call me like that. And when she did, you know, and she said, are you strong? My heart, you know, dropped. But I was definitely, definitely not expecting 
for her to tell me that my brother only has three months to live. And you know, I got angry about that because I feel like the doctors wasn't doing their job because they told him it was in remission. He went through the chemo, he did all that. He did everything, everything right. And he came back and he spread all over. <sighs> I'm angry because I feel like, and excuse my expression, YouTube, how the fuck, how dare this doctor put a death sentence on my brother's life, like he gave him life, like he blew breath into my grandmother to blow breath, to give birth to my mama, to give birth to him. He's not God. And I'm not claiming it. I'm not. But my thing is, I'm sad because he he's not answering me. You know, I didn't think he was mad with me, but I don't think he is. Because the last time me and him talked, we was clowning and laughing and everything. You know, I was talking to my niece and nephews and stuff. But now... I don't know what to do. I mean, I've been trying to reach out to him as much as I can. Maybe he doesn't want me to be on the phone crying when I talk to him. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do like he said, man up. You know, I'm a man up. <laughs> I'm a woman up. I just... I just don't want my, I just don't want my brother leaving this world. If we not talk. I mean, the last words we told each other when we was getting off the phone was, I love you, I love you, bro, I love you, sis. You know, I said that. We told each other that we loved each other, and I don't want that to only be the last words that me and him Say to each other, I want to. I want to be able to talk to him. Is y'all? I am really, really hurting. This is it's unreal. It's unreal to me. And I'm gonna be real with y'all. When I found out, I said to myself, "To hell with this journey. Fuck it. I don't care." I'm not doing nothing. But that woman that I call my baby, male baby, she was like, oh no, bitch. He ain't about to do that. You set out to lose this weight, and bitch, that's what you're going to do. It's not like he did. Eventually, he going to talk to you. But you're not going to give up on yourself because you know whether he talk to you or not, that's not what he wants for you. That's not what he wants. He don't want you giving up on yourself. You know. And I ain't gonna lie. I was like, just leave me alone. Just leave me alone. Just let me. Just let me be. Just let me be. But she stayed on me. I was about to go, I was about to get fried chicken and shrimp fried rice. I mean, I bought it. I got it from Uber and everything. But when it got chill, when it got home, she was like, oh, who that's for? It says for me. She said, oh, can I have some? So I gave her the plate. With the chickens and the, um and everything, and she was like, "Thank you." I was like, "What you mean, thank you?" She gave it. She was like, "Thank you." I told you, you're not about to give up on yourself. Not on my watch. She took it. She gave it to the boys. I was mad. 
But when I realized why, I got over it. But yeah, y'all, I just, I don't want to lose my little brother. I mean, it's bad enough, you know, him having cancer. But 90 days, not even six months, not even 120 days. You're just going to give him 90 days? Really? Really? This is too much. I got up. I just got off the hospital in July. Mel just recently got off the hospital. My brother cancer came back. He spread all over. <laughs> I must be a strong bitch. I must be able to endure all of this because I'm sorry, y'all. I can't. I just can't stop crying. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me get off here. I love y'all. Y'all take care. Be blessed. Y'all have a wonderful week. Y'all stay safe. Always remember to smile, smile, smile. Before I go, I want y'all to pray for Lisa from DC Kool-Aid and Lisa. She fell down the steps and she hurt her. uh, She broke her leg. She's in surgery. I just saw the video with uh, DC saying about Lisa's surgery. I got to go back and finish it. Y'all pray for her. I'm praying for everybody. Y'all know that it just it, it doesn't stop. I pray for everybody. I pray for Lisa. Pray, you know, we already know God's got her, you know. And pray that she come through her surgery smooth. Everything, the smooth transition. But y'all always remember to smile, smile, smile. And with that being said, I'm going to push you down and pull you up later, family. I love y'all. Peace.